Welcome to Mixtape Videos. Today, we're counting down the top 10 players who were the most dominant in their prime. These are the players that in their prime were simply unstoppable. The ones that if your life was on the line, you would choose them to play for it. Overall, not all of them ended their careers as all-time greats, but they were as great as any while in their prime. Number 10, Julius Irving. His career is one of the most influential in basketball history, but somehow we still find a way to not appreciate Dr. J as much as we should. In the 1972 season, Irving averaged 27 points, 4 assists, and almost 16 rebounds as a 6'7 small forward. He was a very good shooter and a creative finisher around the rim. He never shot below 47% from the field his entire career. With those kinds of numbers, he earned himself a spot on this list. Number 9. Dwight Howard We know that Howard is not the most beloved player now, but if you go back a few years when he was playing for Orlando, he was incredible and everyone acknowledged it. He was getting compared to Shaq and for good reason. In 2011, he averaged 22.9 points and 14.1 rebounds, shooting almost 60% from the field. He was the best defender on the planet for three straight years, including a 28 point and 26 rebounds performance. And most impressive of all, he carried his team to the NBA Finals. Number 8. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar We often applaud Kareem for his consistency throughout his legendary career. For a lot of people, when they think of Kareem, they see him in a Lakers uniform or as Magic's sidekick. To a certain extent, that has come to overshadow his explosiveness in his best days. With the most lethal and reliable move in NBA history, the skyhook, Kareem was the guy that you could just give the ball to in the post and he would get the job done. In his days as a Milwaukee Buck, he proved himself as one of the best scorers of all time, averaging 35 points while shooting 57% from the field, and a few years later, when the NBA started to keep track of blocks, he had his best season, averaging 28 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, and 4 blocks per game. His intelligence as a player on both sides of the court is almost unmatched. Number 7. Tim Duncan this is the reason why we say Kareem's IQ is almost unmatched. This one may be a surprise for some of you, but listen, Tim Duncan is not necessarily underrated, but he sure doesn't get the credit he deserves for being clutch and extremely reliable in big games. For the entirety of his career, he played in a system that encouraged unselfish basketball and ball movement, and that obviously gave him a lot of success, but it also downgraded his numbers sometimes. But when he took over, he was unstoppable. In the 2003 Finals, through six games, he averaged a crazy stat line of 24.2 points, 17 rebounds, 5.3 assists, 5.3 blocks, and one steal. Then in 2006, he scored 41 points and grabbed 15 rebounds in Game 7 of the Western Conference Semifinals and had four 40-point playoff games. Remember the time he hit a three-pointer to send a playoff game to overtime? That was his first three of the season. If that doesn't scream clutch to you, then nothing will. Timmy D is the greatest power forward that has ever lived. Number 6. Hakeem Olajuwon Hakeem was simply special. He had the best arsenal of post moves in history, he was athletic, and even though he didn't even reach the height of 7 feet, he dominated Ewing, Robinson, and Shaq every time they matched up in a big game. He recorded two quadruple doubles in the same month, in March of 1990, when he had two games with at least 15 points, 15 rebounds, 10 assists, and 10 blocks. The dream in his prime was extremely close to being the GOAT. Number 5. Kobe Bryant The Black Mamba at his peak was just on another level. He could shoot from anywhere and was the best defender at his position. He could just lay the basketball in with finesse or power dunk it over people. When Kobe was the best player in the world between 2004 and 2008 or so, he demonstrated that he wanted it more than anyone else. 81 points versus the Raptors, 62 points in 32 minutes against the Mavs, he's tied for second for the most three-pointers made in a game with 12, he has 26 50-plus point games, and countless game winners. 
It's astonishing how other players looked up to him. He was one of the last players that people were intimidated by. Number 4. Wilt Chamberlain Many NBA fans take Chamberlain as the most dominant force in NBA history. Now, we may disagree, but still, how could we leave out a guy who averaged 50 points and 25 rebounds? That is completely unheard of, and no one will ever come close to those kinds of numbers. During Chamberlain's time in the NBA, the league didn't keep track of blocks, but we could only imagine he probably averaged 6 or 7 per game. As a center, he even led the league in assists for one season. That is the ultimate testament to his versatility and dominance on the court night in and night out. Number 3. LeBron James This season, LeBron James averaged 26, 8, and 8. And this is when he's getting out of his prime. In 2013, when he should have been the first unanimous MVP, not only were his numbers amazing at 27, 8, and 6, but judging him by the eye test alone, he weighs about the same as a power forward and runs at the speed of a point guard. How could you stop that? Even though he can be a solo act, like in 2007 when he scored the last 25 points for his team against the Pistons, or in 2012 against the Celtics when he was just locked in and finished the game with 45 points and 15 rebounds, he also distributes the basketball better than anyone else in the game right now. He elevates everyone's level of playing, and on top of all of that, in his prime, he was a lockdown defender. Number 2. Michael Jordan what can we say? He's the GOAT. In 1989, he averaged 32 points per game, shooting a ridiculously high 53% from the field, plus 8 assists, 8 rebounds, and 3 steals. He didn't shoot well from the perimeter, but he didn't have to. In his prime, he was the ultimate winner and the closest we have ever seen to a perfect basketball player. But there is still one spot left, and you probably know who it is. Number 1. Shaquille O'Neal Remember what we're taking into consideration here. If you must win a basketball game to save your life, you take the most dominant, overwhelming force in the history of basketball. It was unfair what Shaq was doing on a nightly basis out on the court. He was 7 feet 1 inches tall and weighed 325 pounds. He had countless amazing performances, but his best one was probably his career-high 61 points on 68% shooting alongside 23 boards. His averages for the 2000 Finals were 38 points, 16.7 rebounds, 2.3 assists, 2.7 blocks, and 1 steal, shooting 61% from the field. His free throw shooting might have been horrible, but he did everything else like no one will ever be able to do. So what do you think of our list? Who do you think were the most dominant players in their prime? Let us know in the comments section and make sure you follow us on social media to join the conversation. Oh, hi guys, uh, you are still here. Um, so <laughs> this is just kind of an update of the channel and everything. We know we haven't uploaded content on a regular basis for the past two months or so, but that's about to change. The channel will be more active from now on. We really want to know what you guys want to see next. So please let us know in the comments below. I read most of them. On that topic though, uh, here in MTV, we are a team. So if you want to direct your constructive criticism towards me, <laughs> You are welcome to do so, here's my Twitter, so you can tell me I know nothing about basketball and that stuff. So thank you, we appreciate that you stayed until the end of the video, that's cool of you.